there, I'm Anelli Jamal, and today I want to talk to you about how I hold the guitar. Now this is a topic that is overlooked by a lot of guitar players because whenever I've taught over Skype, I notice that sometimes my students tend to be in an uncomfortable position whenever they're playing and they're not able to get the most value out of their techniques or their practice. So here I want to talk to you about just that. So whenever I'm practicing, I like to have my right foot here, or the foot that you're going to be using to let the, uh, the guitar sit on, uh, higher, propelled higher. Right now I've got a footrest, which basically uh, is about a foot off of the ground. And with this, it allows me, it allows the guitar to sit in a place without sliding off downward. Because if I didn't have that on, you know, it would really kind of slide this way. So having that footrest elevated about a foot off the ground it allows you to have a lot more control. It also hugs the guitar into your body. Now this is very important because if you notice that my right hand right now, or my right arm rather, is, is on the crease here of where the, the, the side and the body meet, or the top meet. Now with this, I can just kind of push this towards me and watch what happens. The guitar stops right here because of this leg. Right? Because of the leg being propped up, it allows the guitar to really lock in place like this. This is very important because when you're holding the guitar, you want to make sure that the left hand is not holding any part of it. I oftentimes see players will do this and they'll hold it up like this. As soon as they let go of their left hand, this is what happens. It drops down. Okay? This is not a proper way to hold the guitar. So you want to be very efficient and mindful when you are holding the guitar. Now one other thing about this that I would say is that whenever it is propelled like this and you are doing certain techniques, you want to just basically have the thumb on the back of the neck and the fingers touching. So you want to be in a very relaxed state that the only thing that should be moving while you're playing is the fingers or the arms on the left hand, not the right hand. So the body of the guitar should never really move. So if I'm playing something... you see that a lot of the, the neck was kind of locked in place because of the elevation of the right leg, about a foot off the ground. Now, if you don't have a foot rest, you can always just use some old books that you haven't read that your grandma gave you. Whatever the case might be, I just want you to have that leg propped up. Now, this is the way that I play because it also allows your back to be a little bit more straight versus hunched over. So if I didn't have that foot rest, you know, my, my whole body would be slouched over even more like this. And notice that that right shoulder kind of moves in a little bit even more. So this is a very important thing that I would really encourage you to do is to sit up straight, uh, have the foot rest there or have some books, uh, elevate the leg and then you'll be good to go with the hand positioning as well. And from there, it's just gonna be, it's gonna take a lot of pressure off of the body so you can focus on just the exercises or playing for yourself. Now, when you're holding the guitar in this way, it allows you with the left hand to just have the thumbprint on the back of the neck. Now, some players maybe don't find that comfortable. Some players will be kind of hugging the whole hand like this, basically taking your whole hand and wrapping it around like this. You can do that, but with certain exercises that I will be talking about in the masterclass, that's gonna limit your range of motion. So what I would really encourage you to do is to start training yourself to have that thumb never peek out like this, but always have it in the back. Now again, when we're thinking about the hand position here, notice that my hand is just dropping naturally like this. Now if we take this and we basically invert it, this is the positioning that we should be having with the left hand, with the fingering hand. Notice that right now my thumb prints on the back is right in the center point of the back of the neck. This way it allows my fingers to get very comfortable to different positions. And sometimes I will have this part here, the index finger, a joint, touching the bottom of the neck as well for a bit of an anchor point, a bit of a stability point. Now, it really comes down to you as far as if you want to really take this uh, idea and run with it. I know that I've seen a lot of guitar players um, from teaching that uh, this, that changing their, their positioning with the left hand has done wonders to get more speed, more clarity, and more precision. So it's one of those things that, that I really encourage you to explore. So another way to hold the guitar, because that's not the only way, is the classical way. And what that is actually, it's the left foot that gets elevated. And what happens here is that you take the guitar and you take this, this, this kind of crease here and you put that on the left leg. Now notice what happens is that all of a sudden the guitar, the neck is at an angle, at a 45 degree angle here. So there are advantages to playing like this too. 
Now, at the end, there's no perfect way because if you do anything for a long term, you're gonna create some sort of back problems or some sort of issues. Now, make sure that whenever you are playing, you take constant breaks. Take breaks often so you can really uh, kind of stretch out those muscles to kind of come back. Now, with this position though, uh, typically a lot of people prefer this because it keeps your back even more straight than the other way. So whatever you decide on, whether it's this position or the classical position, uh, I would still encourage you to experiment doing both just to see which one feels more comfortable before moving on to any more exercises. Uh, this way you're gonna feel uh, kind of certain hand positions, certain chord voicings and shapes are gonna feel differently uh, one versus the other. So it's very important, I think, that you find what works for you best and without causing any tension at the end of the day. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video where I talked a little bit more about the posture and the positioning of the guitar and what is most effective for me personally and um, what might work for you. I just wanted to give you some ideas for you to explore at home to see what works for you. All right, if you enjoyed this video, I've got plenty more, including in my brand new guitar masterclass that just came out where I talk about all these techniques and I take you from the beginning to the end stages of how to incorporate them step by step in a very musical way. So if you're looking to take your guitar game to that next level, this masterclass is for you. So I hope to see you there.